Christmas December 14th, Wednesday, all of Sands Live. So glad you're all here today. We're going to start off in the kitchen with a Christmas treat that's very easy to make. It's Cindy Anderson's version of Mexican churros. And Cindy's here with the simple instructions. I love the story, Cindy, of how your son yeah. came home with having to make the churros for... Yes, my son told me at 6 o'clock in the morning that he had to take some churros to school with him. That day? That day. Kids always do that, don't yes. they? Yes, yeah. and so there's nothing worse than a 13-year-old boy in the kitchen playing with oil and dough and <laughs> plopping it in. So yeah. I said, I will go ahead and do it. So I went ahead and made them, and he took them to school. They weren't quite the best, but the kids liked them, but they said, next time, have your mom make them. Right, so you made them just like a 13-year-old boy. Yes, exactly. Churros are the, um, you know, they're, they're, they're encrusted with sugar. This is sugar and cinnamon. And this one has the, um, I guess, the other stuff on it. Powdered sugar. The powdered sugar. And a little fried treat. And you know, you can't beat fried dough. Exactly. So I'm going to have a little of this. So show us how easy it is to do. Cindy. Okay. What you do, the key to it is a cup of hot water. It's very hot water. No, very hot water. You just took it off and the I boil. I just took it off a boil, mm -hmm. and you add it to a cup of flour. I had added a tablespoon of oil and a quarter mm -hmm. teaspoon of salt. And it turns into a fluffy dough like this, mm -hmm. and it turns into it really quickly. Did you make up this recipe? No, I didn't. I did find... You found it. I found it again from 14 years ago, so... That's good. Churros. Mm -hmm. And then you take the dough, and you put it into the little container here. So they have to be and in one of those forms. What do you, what do you call those? Well, handle? this one is a cake decorator, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can put it in a pastry bag also. Okay. And I've got... It ready to go. Looks like this has some use. Yes, it has. I've already pre-did this. Okay. And these are nice because they have a trigger. Mm -hmm. And what you do... So just shoot it out there, And you shoot huh? it out there. And for Thanks. television purposes, I will cut it off instead of using my fingers. Well, that's a good idea. So and you can just make little shapes. I know you made some of these into kind of what look like candy canes. Right. And you can just do they stripes. Usually, exactly. And you can just make just little things. So you really do recommend that you have one of these dough, I don't know what they're called, dough presses, dough, you know, so you can um, so Cake you can decorators, trigger. actually. And how long does that need to fry then, Cindy? Um, you just judge it by if it starts getting golden brown, mm -hmm. and then when it gets golden brown... Oh, there you go, my dear. Thank you. Yes. You take it and you turn them over just one time. Because you just used, uh, this is just a little saucepan. Yes. With and that's... That's the other thing. People are scared of hot oil. They think, oh, i got to get out the big pot and do everything. And this is just like two cups of oil. Mm -hmm. and it's just to submerge it. And then they um, float on top, and mm -hmm. then you turn them over. Once again, this is just a flour, a cup. A cup of flour and a cup of water with a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt. That's it. That's all that's in the dough that, that she shot out of the, the cake decorator there. Right. And then the, the finishing touch is to make, make them sweet. You do the cinnamon and sugar. Right. Or you can do the, the powdered sugar. Which makes it taste like a funnel cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and you know it's what? really good. They really do. Take them out on, yeah. the, uh, on the little placement there. I think they're just like donuts. They're better when they're really hot. Oh, exactly. Right. And that's what you need to do, too, is mm -hmm. to just drain them a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you can usually put them in a bowl. But I put them in a bag like this sure. when they're done and just kind of give them a shake. And do a little zippity doo dah mm -hmm. like that. Yep, and then you got the powdered sugar uh -huh. ones. They are, that they're is, the best. That's why it does yeah. taste like a funnel cake. If yes. You can eat them right out of that. Oh, yeah. And that, that's the way to do it. So exactly. this is your version of, of churros, and they've uh -huh. been tested by 13 year olds. Exactly. A few years back. Just a few years back. We have the recipe online for you. Exactly. And I just want to share one other thing that you brought today, Cindy. Come on down here. Okay. You are also a crafter, and you brought on these uh, ornaments for our church. Tree, right. You put these little guys in the bells. Now, I think well, these are so sweet. Well, actually, the company put those in there. That's what? just a... <laughs> I cheated what? on that. Now, the other ones I made. I know the <laughs> company didn't put those on there. No, they didn't. You can't buy that in a store. Hey, look it. I have my own hair there. Well, you know, it's coming back any minute. I'm sure... <laughs> Someday. <laughs> Someday, many months from now. Cindy, thank you so much. You're and, more than and welcome. And your Christmas churros will have those, uh, that recipe online for you. Thank okay, you for sharing. Thank you. thank you for sharing. Okay, up next today, personalized Christmas stockings made in the QCA. You know